Hello and what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel and you're watching Miguel EDC, the channel where we go over everything EDC gear here. Today, we're going to be doing a review, comprehensive review and overview of this beauty of a knife right here. This is of course the EMP or Every Man's Pocket EMP EDC Nimble X. This is the version 2. There is a uh, the regular version 1 which came out. This is the second one. We're going to talk about that. We're going to be going over everything you need to know about this knife before we get started guys there are going to be affiliate links down in the description for every knife you see in this video i'm not affiliated with emp edc but i will be linking this knife down there if it is available and you want to pick it up depending on where in the future you're watching this video then definitely make sure to check out the links down below I gotta tell you guys, this has been an awesome experience so far. I've been having a blast with this knife. Got a chance to unbox it here in the channel not that long ago, so if you haven't checked out the unboxing yet, go ahead and check that out as well. But I've had a chance to EDC this guy for about a week now. It really hasn't been a long time because this knife right here comes to me via the Lefty EDC pass around. I believe that John Rusk, uh, the uh, founder over there at EMP EDC, sent it over to Lefty EDC to review and uh, Lefty uh, was nice enough to share with a lot of us uh, smaller channels here on YouTube so that we can share our experience with this knife as well. So yeah, we're gonna get into it. If you haven't already, go ahead and smash that like button because there's definitely tons of value coming up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, this will be a great opportunity to go ahead and do so if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this knife. Let's get a quick measurement right off the bat here. So overall, length on this bad boy we have we're looking at eight inches right that is exactly eight inches on the dot overall length so handle we're looking at a total of four and a half it looks like uh, as far as the blade goes we have three and a half total blade with a three and a quarter three and a quarter cutting edge those are your measurements let's get some quick comparisons here shall we we have uh, the usuals just to get you a quick ballpark idea of course the pm2 from spyderco Got the pair of three right there. It's definitely, definitely gonna be closer to the PM2. It's slightly bigger than the pair of three. Something to keep in mind here, as I compare it next to the Demco AD 20.5 in the clip point and the Shark's Foot. You guys be the judge right there. The Nimble XV2, this one's already a bigger version of, the, uh, of this knife because the original Nimble the V1, of course, it was actually a smaller knife. I don't have one on hand to do the comparison, so you guys are going to have to take my word for it. So with the V2, they made it a longer, a bigger knife, which is nice. And uh, let's do one last comparison here. We have the Rap Model 1 right there. Let's get the Rap Model 2 out here also. All right, so yes, definitely a full-size knife, in my opinion, medium to large um, for the most part. And then since we're here, here's my other EMP EDC knife that I'm currently checking out as well. I'll also be dropping a review for this bad boy here very, very soon. And that is the EMP uh, EDC Ronin. All right, check out this guy as well. Got a crazy Tanto blade. I mean, this thing is also a beast of its own. So check that one out. And last but not least, here's another beauty that I'm currently checking out as well before I send them back. And that is the Urban EDC and Devo Knives barley right this lip joint right here you guys be the judge right there again just giving you some quick size comparison so at least you can get a ballpark understanding on the size all right what do we got going on as far as materials on this guy well first of all you have an m390 bowler m390 hollow grind and this looks like a drop point but they say on the website that i believe is a a sheep's foot or worn cliff i can kind of see that in my opinion it kind of looks like billet uh bullet bill from mario <laughs> if you ask me that's exactly what comes to mind when i see this thing coming it's just bullet bill coming after mario right there so m390 bowler uh qsp is the oem on this knife and man they did a great job right here qsp has been stepping up their game lately and the fit and finish on this thing is insane. We have also on the blade this bill shaped opening with the fuller going all the way through. That is also very attractive, very sexy right there. Uh, the jimping here is insane uh, in typical EMP EDC fashion going all the way through the spine of the blade there, which is awesome. We'll come back to that a little bit later on. As far as handle material, guys, we have full titanium going on and this titanium is mill. There's a little bit of uh, I want to say it feels like the you know uh, fluted design or lines going on here for the milling and it's not all the way through you do still have a smooth uh, edges and whatnot i feel like they did this 
perfect right there. It is a very sexy, attractive looking milling going on. And I mean, it gets the job done and it looks really, really good. It makes it a little bit grippy as compared to a just plain uh, titanium. Uh, we have uh, accents going all throughout, blue slash purple accents, anodized accents going on. Got the pivot here with a collar. So this is new for um, the V2, the version two, the first one from what I understand did not have a pivot color. So that's different. We're gonna get into more and more of the difference between version one and two. Uh, it is a liner lock. Well, we have a liner lock going on here and uh, we have all kinds of deployment options going on on this bad boy so we have a flipper of course right flipper deployment right there as you can see let me get you a little bit closer to the camera the sound is just amazing all right got a nice sound to it for a solid deployment i feel like the detent is tuned really really good as well because i right, check this out like i'm not failing it whatsoever uh you do have the reverse deployment of course boom you can get that done all day every day this pill shape opening here is so good i can do my ring finger deployment <laughs> it's just so i can brag to metal complex a little bit here's my pinky and i can deploy with my pinky as well how about that all right there's the pinky action one more time oh let's not do that oh let's not do that come on now there it is, that's what I'm talking about. Come on now, it's possible. I've just been fidgeting with this thing so, so much, man. There's so much going on with this knife. So of course you can do the good old Spidey flick, feels really good. Thumb deployment, you got plenty of access right here to thumb deploy. Um, as a typical noob, I tend to put extra pressure on the lock bar, which I shouldn't, but yes, thumb deployment is really, really good. And something that is new for me is the front flipper. And I gotta tell you, man, I, I've been falling in love with front flippers, uh, especially with just checking out these two knives. The Ronin has a very awesome front flipper too, no flipper in the back. So, I mean, I, I gotta pick me up some front flippers that, you know, <laughs> just been having a blast with these two. So it looks something like this. Some people do it right here in the front. I find that for me, it works a little bit better right here. And then it looks something like this. Boom. I like to give a little flick of the wrist there for a little bit of reliability, if you will, just to make it happen. And bam, that is good. So, so many different deployment options. When I when I first took this thing out of the box, I uh, didn't know the first thing about front flipping and I was struggling quite a bit if you haven't seen the unboxing video. But after I got a chance to start just messing with it and playing around with it quite a bit, man, this thing just lit up. It, it came alive and I was just finding different ways to deploy this thing uh, in every kind of possible way. It's just been an amazing experience. So let's go ahead and do a quick carry profile right next to the... Uh, let's see here thickness against the para 3 the <laughs> next to the para 3 right there as you can see very it would help if i zoom in a bit yeah a little bit thicker perhaps than the pair 3 next to the demco ad 20.5 with the gribery scales this one of course is going to be a little thinner no doubt uh wrap model one you probably move it towards the center that would help wrap model one still a little bit skinnier it seems Rob Model 2, of course, is going to be, you know, slimmer. And here's the Ronin, right? Here is the Ronin. Um, very comparable, but I think the Nimble here, V2, is still a little bit thicker. So, yeah, you got some solid titanium scales going on on this thing. These are solid scales. They are milled. Right? I can see milling on the inside. Let me see if I can show you guys here with the camera magic. Yeah, there's quite a milling going on there indeed on both ends. And as far as total weight, let's get a, a good weight on this bad boy here. Let's see, we're coming in. This guy feels like around four ounces or so, I want to say. So let's see. Yeah, four and a half. Four and a half ounces right there. And it feels really good. Those are some good solid pleasure, smile in the face looking ounces for sure. Uh, for reference, the Ronin from EMP EDC, that one is 3.6. So, and yeah, this guy is perfect, 4.5, very well balanced on the total weight there. I wouldn't want it any heavier or any lighter, so that's perfect for me. As far as uh, handle thickness on this guy, let's get a read on this. All right, handle's gonna be about four point or zero point four eight right there almost almost a half an inch guys almost half an inch on the handle and then as far as blade stock thickness here right it's gonna be um 0 0.15 0 0.15 inches on the blade stock right there uh let me see did i get a good read right here double check what's the name of science one five all right what is the uh, length and height in the pocket right here well if you put it next to the ronin right it's gonna be a little bit wider no doubt about that as far as total length they're both about the same but this one of course because the blade sticks out a bit more it's a little bit wider uh here is the barley from urban edc and devo knives 
All right, so we're gonna be slimmer there. Um, going in reverse order, rot model one and rot model two. Yeah, still a little bit wider than the uh, model two there. As far as the, the height, right, length, the model one is still a little bit larger. The Demco Brothers, 8020.5. These are gonna be very comparable, right? Notice they also have the pill shape opening and they both have a decent amount of blades sticking out. So you guys be the judge right there, but these might be just, you know, the perfect comparison in anything as far as length and height. Like they're pretty much right on the money with the Nimble V2. And last but not least, the PM2 and Para 3. And of course, Spider Coast, at the end of the day, they always take the cake because the Spidey hole is uh, so much wider right there. You guys see you still have like uh, a quarter of an inch, if anything, more on the spider coal I'll try it is, right? So yeah, there you have it, just to give you a good uh, ballpark idea. Now, something that is uh, unique about this knife, so this is a production series, and I'm not sure if this one is a prototype or if this was actually production. So this one is 007 out of 100, 007 out of 100. And if you're anything like me and you're into James Bond movies, you know, 007, wink, wink. I mean, that's like the perfect number out of a 100 series, uh, if you ask me. So that's pretty neat. Uh, you have blue, again, blue accents. You can see it on camera with a little bit of hint of purple going on, depending on how the light hits it. Uh, big hardware everywhere. As a matter of fact, let's do a quick hardware check on this bad boy. As per usual, my tools are highly recommended and linked down below. And I believe this guy is going to be TA all around. So please, please, please don't disappoint on that department as TA, body screws all TA. All right, even the pocket clip, which we're gonna get into in a minute, is TA. Could I have gotten a mistake in it for T9 or anything bigger? No, T9 doesn't fit. It is definitely TA all around on this bad boy. So great decision right there from EMP, again, QSP being the OEM on this guy. And uh, yeah, let's talk about the pocket clip for a moment. This is the very signature EMP EDC pocket clip. Very unique, nothing that I've seen in any other knife perhaps. Uh, ergonomically speaking, which I haven't quite gotten to yet, right? When I bear down on the knife as it is, of course, it is a frame lock. So the, the harder you grip, the more you're locking the knife. So you have that advantage. Uh, the clip doesn't get in my way at all. It actually works with the form shape of my palm as I'm, you know, closing my fist here, uh, bearing down. So that works pretty, pretty well. It is decently deep carry. So only a little bit of the knife is going to show if anything, which is nice. And it is uh, finished on the same blue slash purple anodized look right here going all throughout, which just puts the cherry on top right there and it makes it super, super nice. Nice. You got the lock bar, of course, with the steel insert going on there for reliability over time. And a very nice backspacer right here with your serial number. Once again, for my linear people, you got quite the window, Microsoft Windows going on right here. You can see the world from this uh, <laughs> from this lanyard uh, hole right here. It's quite thick, quite big. Different approach on the Ronin, right? They sort of went with the little uh, tube or spacer standoff in the back solution so that it doesn't show on either side. Maybe that could be a future approach on this knife, if anything. But I mean, I don't mind it. I don't do lanyard holes, but uh, or lanyards, period. But also doesn't bother me if it's there all that much. Now the pocket clip, I believe it is not reversible. And um, you can see that it is on the right side and there is no milling or any sort of additional hole here for it to be on the other side. So maybe they sell a lefty version or maybe that's something they could look into. I know it doesn't affect it looking or messing up the face or scale on the other side. So if you're a righty, that's a plus to you. If you're a lefty, I'm sorry. That is definitely something that they can consider as feedback, you know, minor setback if anything or, or suggestion or feedback. But uh, other than that, I mean, this is, look at the, the thickness on the scales there. They are mill, but they, you know, they have a good size to them. Ergonomically speaking, again, Look at this forward choke. This finger choil right here, it just, it's just intuitively. You want to just bear down and, and forward choke on this thing and you have this jimping running all the way at the top. Man, that is a comfortable position. You can get work done here, done all day. It is a very nice hollow grind that looks just amazing. Super sexy looking. I believe this is stone wash, stone wash hollow grind, just really good. Nice access to the sharpening choil here. Uh, got plenty of access before the plunge grind, which is good. So you can sharpen this guy quite a number of times before you get a smile there, which is good. I mean, this fuller is just amazing, like very 
very attractive. Any blade with a fuller like this kind of looks angry and it looks so different and unique in my opinion. Uh, from my understanding and from what I've heard, uh, I haven't necessarily experienced the uh, Nimble version one, but there was an issue, I guess, with the spacing between the handle here and how far forward, I guess, the finger choil was. So they kind of closed the gap there a little bit so that it feels more natural, right? When you're doing this, right? When you're gripping the knife like this, you're forward choking on it, right? It feels more natural to do it that way. Uh, there's no sharp line anywhere that's stabbing me at all. Even this corner right here is nice and rounded as well. And uh, reverse grip, boom, you're good to go, right? Um, a Friday night gas station knife grip, right? Get your Slurpee, like left to EDC, Kev says. Yeah, you get there as well. And I mean, this guy is on, what is this, ball bearings, I believe? Yeah, definitely ball bearings here. It's not the most drop shutty, so there's, uh, I guess, some consistency to how it drops, which I like, right? It's not a guillotine going down, right? So it does drop shut, but, you know, you got to put a little bit of effort there. I like the little, you know, persuasion there, just a little whoop and it drops, which is good, right? That front flipper, bam, it gets so, so good. So yes, this blade shape, man, I'm telling you, I guess uh, from the website EMP, they call it a sheep's foot, and I can see where, you know, it's more, it's not so much a drop point because the tip is way down here, so I can see where the sheep's foot comes from. It's not quite a worn cliff, even though it would be nice if there was a worn cliff. I would love to see that. They probably will have to make the, the butt here a little bit more square in order to make that happen, but that's worth checking out. I know right now they have the Nimble T2, which is a Tanto version of the Nimble. Uh, that's gonna be on their website, by the way. I'm not affiliated with EMP EDC, but I still link these guys down in the description below. Uh, any other knives that um, are on this video will be linked down there as well if you wanna check them out. The affiliate links are, are on the description. Do help out the channel at no extra cost to you. Uh, so if you want to check them out, Again, thank you in advance. But that being said, I mean, this thing is a fidgety dream right here, right? Very solid, very robust. The geometry on this guy is just amazing. It looks so, so different. I love, again, the bullet bill look to it, and it's just ergonomically so good. Uh, I really wish they did more of this drop. I like this combo right here. Like I'm a sucker for as monochrome of a knife as I can get. You know, I like the, the you know, the, the grays, you know, with a little bit of black. This one with the accents, I mean, they, they make it pop too. So I'm, I'm, I, I like this config right here as well. Uh, again, detent on this thing. Right, I feel like it's tuned really good. Some people were complaining, I guess, that the D10 had issues and the knife would lash out if you did this, but not, not the case with this one. And make sure I'm not, yeah, this one is it's definitely gonna hold the edge, definitely gonna hold the blade back like it should, provides enough tension for a boom, for a flip. It is uh, definitely spot on. The texturing on this titanium, I gotta tell you, it's definitely a little bit um, skinnier, closer together than the texture you see on the Ronin. So I like the fact that they can do different texturing going on. So that's pretty interesting. I like both, if I'm being honest. I really like them both. I see something unique here, the fact that they have a version that is not, or a portion of the handle that is not milled, and then you do have the flat part which is mill. I mean, this knife is so nice and rounded everywhere. It makes it super easy to carry, pleasure to hold. And man, I think I am in love. I had not checked out any EMP EDC knives up until this point, I believe. I first saw this knife on Tim School of Fish's channel. I thought it was interesting, but I never knew I was in for such a treat until I got this thing on hand. All right, so again, I mean, I, I the only thing that I wish I had was more time to spend with this knife. Again, I did get it. I'm borrowing it as part of Lefty EDC's knife pass around. Uh, I sort of almost don't want to give it back. That's how good this knife is. But of course, I, I can't do that to my fellow YouTubers. Got to pass it forward to the next person who will be reviewing this beauty. And man, are they in for a treat. Uh, this just tells me my takeaway here is that I'm going to be on the lookout for EMP EDC going forward. Uh, when they do their drops, when these uh, knives are available, like, man, they, they make some solid knives. Uh, high quality, I believe this guy comes in at 350 all right, 350 is the total price on this bad boy. And uh, I mean, you got a lot going right here. Again, Boulder 390, uh, very unique multiple deployment options. Blade shape is awesome. Uh, the titanium handles, I mean, just the attention to detail, the QC, the quality check, like everything is spot on, super dialed in. The action is amazing. The only thing I struggled with was the, the front flipper. I found it a little bit funky at times, but it only took 
a little bit of getting used to because now I can do it with my eyes closed and I feel like a front flipper professional. Uh, I was beating up my finger because I was a total noob and I didn't know how to do it. I was like doing something like this and of course don't get enough leverage but if you get it right here where you bend your thumb right there right and then don't mind my orange fingers. I was uh, marinating some chicken yesterday and I got you know my hands looked a lot more orange than they do now I promise but yeah I can front flip this guy so so good. If anything perhaps the, the thumb deployment you know might be one that I might struggle with from time to time. It's not my preferred method of deployment in any, in any way, shape, or form. By default, you guys know I'm a spidey flick type of guy. So reverse flick all the way. Again, pinky, boom. <laughs> and uh, the flipper in the back. This thing is just amazing. Amazing in every possible way. Uh, the way they did the stress relief right here on the lock bar is done pretty good. The pocket clip has just a nice, the right amount of resistance to it. And um, we of course want to do a paper cutting test on this bad boy and keep in mind it has been passed around already i don't know through how many other different youtube channels it has made it through up until this point it's likely i've noticed the edge might need a little bit of stropping but just to show you guys how much of an edge this guy has retained again with some paper all right that is going to definitely uh get some swirls going on there right off the bat and let's see boom <laughs> Yeah, that is that is sharp. That is that is undoubtedly very very sharp, and it is slicing without any concern, without any hesitations, all the way through. You can work out the entire blade. Boom. Yeah, this this thing is spot on. No nicks, nothing on the blade, which is good. And let's do maybe just a few more. You guys need to judge. Let me know in the chat, right, on a scale from one through ten. How sharp is this guy or how much of an edge it has retained honestly because i'm pretty sure obviously when it came out of the box it was a lot sharper than that that being said um let's test some cardboard of course because we do that here as well when cutting cardboard keep in mind don't ever cut perpendicular like this but rather at like an angle and uh, let's get this first cut right here <laughs> all right that was effortless right? that was effortless all right so we know the hollow grind is going to put in work without a doubt all right so yeah still holding a crazy edge still putting in work this thing is just awesome all the way through you know so i don't <laughs> i don't know what else is there left to say uh do i recommend this knife well uh, uh, uh you know out of the short period of time that i've been carrying it i gotta tell you i'm picking one up as soon as i'm able to for myself uh, this is a loaner i'm giving this one back but i'm picking up my own as soon as i get a chance because this is just a treat of a knife uh so john rusk did a great job here uh check out emp edc uh, website they have so many products again including the ronin which you're gonna see a review likely might be ready for you at the end of this video if that's the case i'll leave a car at the end but there you have it that is the emp edc nimble x v2 in its full glory uh, absolutely amazing knife it is that premium knife you know over 300 dollars. but man the material the quality everything is there and this is a knife that uh yeah this this is gonna be a knife that you're gonna own and have for years and years and years to come so super excited for this knife i definitely recommend you check it out i will be picking myself up one of these at some point in the very near future this thing is just amazing and i am just blown away super super impressed with emp edc and what they bring to the table uh their oems do an awesome job and the quality is there I mean, what else is there left to say that I haven't already mentioned? So you guys be the judge. Let me know if I miss anything down in the comments. By the way, it does come on this uh, very rugged plastic looking case. Feels like you have the, uh, the nuclear bomb codes going on in here. You're about to open up and send the nuke as if you were playing Call of Duty. And there it is, Nimble XV2 M390. This one was from their first run back in March, earlier this year, 2023. And yeah, it's got, it got a nice, comfortable home right there. Anytime you wanna take it, transport it anywhere. Yeah, that, that comes as part of the knife right there. Very hardcore case with their, their logo. Uh, but yeah, that's the knife. Uh, if you haven't liked the video so far, guys, like the video, it is free. It helps this content reach a larger audience. As always, you can subscribe for more awesome knife and EDC content like this on a daily basis. And if you wanna take your support a step further, check out the Patreon link down below where you can support the channel for as little as $1 a month. Uh, chances are by the time you're done watching this video, the review for the 
Ronin, all right, check out this thing. It's gonna be ready to go. I'll put a card for that video right here if you wanna check that one next. And I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Take care, guys. Peace.